Apparently, it may be time to start planning your holiday travel. And by holiday, I'm not talking about Labor Day. Many savvy travelers are planning for Christmas already because airports are slashing their routes and seats this fall, all in an effort to save money on fuel. Joining us now, Tom Parsons, the CEO of BestFares.com with his traditional Hawaiian garb. A very good morning to you, Tom. Well, good morning. So let's talk about service cuts. What kinds are we talking about here? Which airports, routes are going to be most affected? Well, for the holidays, for Christmas, uh, New Year's, uh, I think the, the warm, sun, and fun destinations are going to be the most expensive. We're going to see it much higher than last year. Matter of fact, we've already booked our tickets to Tampa, Clearwater. Uh, but we did a little thing called bundling, which is uh, buying an airfare and a car because we have a place to stay. And uh, by doing that, we were able to cut our airfare down from $400, uh, say, a ticket versus, I mean, we just bought tickets this week for 238 for September and October. And yet it's going to be $400, $438. And I expect Expected to go up, but when we bundled it, we were able to get a car which is going for 500 bucks a week down there. And when we did all that, we were still able to save about 300 dollars by buying the air and a car together. Uh, I just think if it's sun and fun, uh, the Caribbean, Mexico, Hawaii. Uh, we're just seeing outrageous uh, prices right now. I did a show in San Francisco yesterday, and uh, the round-trip airfare for December 26th right now is coming in at $1,400 per person that go leaving on December 26th and coming back the Saturday after New Year's. And yet, when I looked at our packages on bestfares.com, we had a package out of San Francisco at a four-star hotel, seven nights in September and October, including the airfare and all taxes for $699 dollars that's half the airfare alone so i think you've got to think do you really need to fly during christmas and new year's do you, and if it's family travel you may have to but if you're a couple and you say you know i don't want to go somewhere this winter uh, maybe so do it right after the holidays or in between thanksgiving and christmas you'll probably go for half price or better I'm dumbfounded listening to, to what you're saying here. Those numbers are absolutely astronomical, hard to believe. You mentioned this bundling. Well, they, you know what? They're going to get worse. <laughs> They're going to get worse. Wait, uh, so, so now, last year, I now. lived in Dallas. You, you, not, so, I, I, so, you know, like, sorry? No, you go ahead. Go ahead. I was just saying, last year, when I, I, I like to watch the airfares like the stock market. When I buy it, make a good buy, and then, they, then I watch the fares go up. But last, uh, de last I'd say about November, when I was looking at Cancun from Dallas, it was up to $2,000 a ticket. And I expect that for those people who want to hesitate and at the last minute get the urge to travel, they're going to have to dig deep, 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 and there will probably be a few folks out there who still buy those airfares. But I tell you, right now is the time you should be looking. Uh, but does it mean that uh, you're you, here's what can happen there's a penalty on your airplane ticket of about $150 if you do bite the bullet it does drop down drop down then you can get you can get the difference back for a future flight yeah okay well you know what I didn't need to ask that question anyway because you answered it about whether or not there might be those deals last minute because clearly there's not going to be okay okay Tom Parsons we'll see you again thank you